Okay, I hope you can't hear the river in the background. So here's a quick rundown of the survival rifle itself for anyone that's interested. It's a rifle of my own design and manufacture. It's actually the most simplest, roughest rifle I've ever made. It took about a day and a half to make, I think, all up. All right, let's start with the rifle itself. The actual rifle itself is this strip from here to here. Uh, it's just a, a simple single shot action that I can attach to any plate shape that I want. I mean, you could even attach it to a bit of plywood if you wanted. Uh, it's a single shot hold open that fires from the closed bolt. So basically once you fire around, the bolt comes back, extracts and ejects your case, and it holds open ready to quickly reload your next round. You flick a lever, bolt, close, bolt closes, and you're ready to go again, just like this. Okay, up, uh, up here we've got a 10 shot, 22 caliber, 3D printed shell holder attached to the rifle, and a, a mole pouch that I've attached to hold most of this gear. Uh, plastic knife sheath. This wing nut up here, that actually holds the torch on the other side of the rifle, so you can loosen the wing nut and swivel the torch around to whatever angle you want to light up your camp or whatever really. Right, let's move on to the gear that the rifle holds. Uh, we have a 22 caliber suppressor, uh, 30 feet of paracord, you can use to do whatever, bushcraft your shelter, etc. Small blade that goes in the plastic knife sheath, I use this to mainly truce out animals. A roll of electrician's tape, what I do is I, I peel out the cardboard inside until it fits exactly around the, the optic there. Uh, there's a torch, which goes on the other side of the rifle, spare battery, 10 rounds of subsonic 22 caliber ammunition, stainless steel cup, collapsible cup and lid, uh, Leatherman multi-tool, this comes in really handy in its case, a stainless steel spatula that I've cut off, I use this as a grill to cook up whatever you want or, or boil, boil some water, I don't think I showed you that in the last video, I'm not sure. Uh, this is some total of my first aid kit for now. A few sticky plasters. Uh, plastic bag for gathering water. Herbs and spices, a little bit of olive oil. Uh, my fire lighting kit. Two lighters, one for a spear. Uh, an emergency blanket, which I did plan to use as the shelter, but it kind of evolved from there. Uh, second emergency blanket. This is taking the place of the emergency sleeping bag, which I can't fold up uh, back into its pouch again. So imagine this is the emergency sleeping bag. It's slightly larger, but, but not much. So that is basically the kit that I carry on the rifle, and all of this fits onto there. Um, still light, it's not cumbersome, seems to work well. But I do want to add to it, I've got a few more ideas. There's a compass uh, I want to put on it, a detachable compass, sundial etc. If you guys have got any ideas definitely let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Things I do need to work on is my first aid kit, um, that needs to be um, improved upon quite a bit to be of any real use. Uh, also it'd be nice to have a decent fire, fire starting kit, something that's small and compact and, and really useful. I do like the big lighters, um, one is a spear. Um, oh the fire lighting equipment, I'm, I'm I'm normally using um, the bits of paper that come in the in the emergency stuff or or the inside of the um, the cardboard or the inside of the tape that works well as, as fire lighting gear as well. All right, let me know what you think, what I can do to improve. That is the rifle. So here we are back. Everything is back on the rifle in its place. Paracore is wrapped back up. Oh, five rounds missing. I had a bit of a play before I left. Um, Yep, I know this is a ridiculous idea, but I don't care. I'm having fun, and I'm just going to keep on adding to the rifle and making new videos with it. Uh, like I said before, I want to want to upgrade my fire lighting kit. It's pretty average, um, first aid kit, and I really got to do something about the shelter because I I don't think building a shelter like that for one night is really going to be energy efficient. So I'll have another think about that. Um, 
yeah, so this, uh, I think I mentioned before, this was just a proof of concept rifle for something else I've been working on. Something like this. It's a quick preview, but that'll come later. So in the meantime, stick around for more outdoor camping, solo, survival, catch and cook type uh, videos. And I am Scott, and this is Solo Edge.